Happy New Year, Golden Eagles. Welcome back to another semester of Trip Trio. I'm Rincy. Let's jump right into the top three entertainment tidbits that everyone's talking about. Number three. Awards season has officially started with the Celeb Fest, known as the Golden Globes, taking place on Sunday. While the show posted ratings down more than 5 million viewers from the 2007 awards, the ceremony was not uneventful. Highlights included Kate Winslet finally breaking her losing streak, Heath Ledger winning a post-mortem globe, and plenty of drunk celebrities. And we all know that makes watching much more entertaining. Number 2. Blake Lively may be in vogue, but some controversy is stirring over her appearance on Vogue magazine's February cover. Many people are claiming by having a lowly TV star on the cover, Vogue is on its last leg. With the recent shutdown of Men's Vogue and rumors of EIC Anna Wintour being replaced, it is obvious that the magazine is not in a good place. Of course, who knows, maybe the magazine will actually appeal to people under the age of 80 now. Number 1. It's time to clear up your schedules, TV is back with a vengeance. With mid-season hits like 24, Lost, and American Idol all coming back, we barely have time to watch our full season favorites like The Office. All I know is that I'll be praying to the TiVo gods for the next few weeks to make sure I don't miss a minute. That's this week's Trib Trio. Be sure to check us out every week right here at MarquetteTribune.org and be sure to tell your friends. See ya! Anyone wants to know Jim McLaughlin's schedule? <laughs> What's he taking? Um, Spanish, Com 160, Journalism 171, and Com 177. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you know all you Trip Trio viewers who are Jim McLaughlin stalkers. I need to. We need to put that in the blooper so I can show what, it to. What, what rule? What room? Oh right. Well, most of them are in Johnson Hall. So if you want to just hang out here.